uh, Vlog, I thought I'd show off my OFCC 2000 point list and on its nice pretty display board. Now before I get any comments about how this list sucks, uh, this is not a, a full-on competitive tourney. Uh, I won't be, you know, there won't be any Vulcan spam, there won't be any dual lashes. Uh, this is definitely a beer and pretzels, have fun uh, kind of thing, which is uh, probably a lot different than most people will ever, will ever play in. Um, there's just no, there's no power, power lists are not not allowed. I mean, I couldn't even take three battle wagons. I couldn't even take Asgul. I mean, they simply just don't allow um, overpowered lists. So anyway, let's see what I came up with. I'm going full mechanized, uh, which means my deployment is exactly nine models. So uh, first we have 12 art boys in a truck. We got five knobs in a truck with the war boss. That's probably my closest to a power unit. I got five knobs with different war gear. Um, but there's only five of them. Uh, so we got two trucks of just regular boys. Three cans with Gradzukas. A battle wagon with cannon and death roller carrying the big mech and 19 shooter boys. Nah, big shooter. And the other battle wagon has a kill cannon, a reinforced ram, and 12 tank busters. And the last unit here over here is Snickrot with 10 commandos with a Burna. And that's it. That's my full 2,000 points. You can see it's definitely not a power list by any sort, by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but it is an awful lot of fun to play. Wow, that was fast. There's really not much to say about it. I mean, I just kind of castle around the KFF and hope I make a whole bunch of 4-plus saves. Uh, I've only had a chance to play this list twice. Uh, once, I mean, they were both against Imperial Guard. Uh, both times I, I lost most of my transports, but the first game I was able to get a movement, a turn or two of movement, uh, before they were all wrecked. So I, was, so I was in close combat and taking care of stuff right away. But the second game, all my transports got popped before I even got to go. I went second, and literally every transport was dead before I, before I took a turn, and I just couldn't, didn't have the numbers to keep up to to make it across the board after that. So this list is going to be heavily dependent on how many four pluses I can make. As I said, I don't have to worry about power builds and, and things that are uh, would obviously just wreck me. Besides, I think it looks really good. Grab the camera. Here, let me try and take some closer video. This is my war banner. With my little Grot mascot. Mascot. Yeah, my objective marker is sitting here too, though. I'll have to get some more batteries for them, though. Yeah, the light's not very even, but... Knobs. I have five knobs. One just regular with Slugger and Chopper. One with a big chopper. Uh, the Pain Boy. One with a Power Claw. And the one with a War Banner. And they all have Cyborgs, and that's it. So it's a really cheap unit, too. Thinking about playing it more often. Whoops. And two Truck Boys. Shadow now. Yeah, I don't have very good lighting at the moment, so I'll stick to the battle wagons. So that's my list. That's my army. So the OFCC starts. Saturday, we five games, and it's a team event, so it's scored by teams, uh, not individuals. And there is a, a comp system. Let me try and describe it. Basically, what goes on is that you submit your list about a month ahead of time, and then the lists are scored on a scale of one to five, 
and you pretty much play only lists that are similar in score to yours. Hope that makes sense, because I, I don't know what mine, I never got told by my team captain what my uh, list is scored. Also, I'll find that out on Saturday. Um, but keeping a balance like that really makes, keeps the event fun for everybody, and that's the point of this. It's just to have fun. It's people from from Ashland to Victoria, BC, are going to be converging uh, on the uh, University of Portland. Uni 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 University Park Community Center at the University of Portland, uh, Saturday morning, starting at 8:30 a.m. That's right, 8:30 in the morning. Five games over two days, so it's a you know, it's a pretty big uh, tournament. It's a pretty big deal around here. And of course, I'll be taking my uh, my camera and taking lots and lots of videos, bat reps for every game, and taking a lot of videos of all the uh, outstanding painting armies, painted armies, because uh, it is a uh, showcase of talent as well. Obviously, mine isn't going to be anywhere close to a well-painted army, but it is painted and painted to a decent tabletop quality. So that's it. I guess uh, my first video will be Saturday night after I get back from 14 hours of gaming and hanging out. I'll try and get something up if I can. If I'm not too completely tired and hopefully I can get up Friday night and meet some of the guys I haven't met from Seattle and, Van and uh, BC I haven't had a chance to play against before so I'm expecting to have an awful lot of fun and an awful lot of Warhammer so I'll probably see you guys Saturday later